I slip into the ocean Swallow me up in one motion Though She's my queen, I show devotion Like you Be strong Ryan Murphy in lane four had been just one one hundredth of a second faster than David Plummer in the semi-finals. Murphy and Plummer were swimming side by side. They were in the middle lanes with yellow lane ropes and it was Plummer who made the stronger start. In fact, Murphy wasn't even in a medal position at the halfway turn. Mitchell Larking of Australia was leading at that stage. But Murphy in lane four produced an incredible turn and surfaced in the lead. He'd used a similar tactic in the semi-finals where he was by far the quickest swimmer in the second half of the race and none of his rivals in the final were able to fight back. In fact, Murphy was swimming close to world record pace. His winning time of 51.97 seconds was only three one hundredths of a second outside the world record, but it was a new Olympic record. Over to Zhu Jiayu of China and bronze to David Plummer of the United States. of the sun to dream believe in strength now I'm the only one was the favorite swimming in lane four Hosu was competing in her fourth Olympic Games but she had never won a medal she was in the white hat and made a strong start pulling away from the rest of the swimmers during the 100 meters backstroke The race was clearly won, but Hosu was now aiming to set a world record. Hosu's time of 4 minutes 26.36 seconds was more than 2 seconds faster than the previous world record. Was gold. The silver medal went to Maya Dirado of the United States and the bronze to Mireya Belmonte Garcia of Spain. Sarah Cola, 800 freestyle. They're away now, and we will see if uh, the trend continues for Ledecky, that she will instantly go into the lead. And it's effortless from her. Already, you look at that and you say, righto, the fight for second is starting. But Ledecky will go out fast. She, she runs her races close to world record, even in training, doesn't she? She's is, she is an extraordinary ability to just constantly pump out quick times over this distance. 800 freestyle will have a little bit more of a chance to have a look at her, her technique that is carrying her to three gold medals already, looking for a fourth gold medal. She's also put a silver in there in the 4x100 freestyle relay, but she is sprinting out in the first 100 metres. She went 52 seconds in the relay for the 4x100, so to go around in a 57.98, it doesn't cost her a lot. Carlin of Great Britain uh, turned in second place, so she's uh, the woman in the red cap. You can see her there just to the right of Ledecky in lane eight. To the left, that's Maria Belmonte of Spain in third place. Ledecky cruises out over 150 to a two body length lead. The thing that I like about her technique, um, and if world records aside, she has good attention to detail on the turn. She only does one dolphin kick and then up to freestyle. She just drags those legs in a two-beat 
a two-beat distance freestyle kick, but you can see her position in the water, her body position, she's so high in the water. You can see all of her back clear of the water. You can see the lower part of her back across her, her backside and into her legs, her upper legs. It's all clear. It's like watching a hydrofoil. And then when you look at the other girls, parts of their back are above the water. There she goes, world record mark trailing behind her. Ledecky leads in lane four. Driving away. Well, Ledecky leads, so we'll have a look back and see who's likely uh, to finish second. The battle continues between Jazz Carlin and Maria Belmonte. There is Ledecky bouncing off the wall. Belmonte and Carlin. Carlin in second place. Belmonte, Smith and Ashwood all trailing in the wake of this quite superb superwoman of the pool. So she's sitting on the world record line and it's sitting on her at her legs. So the 300 metre mark, 3 minutes 0.76. And the race is certainly on for silver and bronze. And that is a battle in itself. And just getting into that beautiful rhythm. The stroke rate is quite fast. It's much faster. So the, the cadence of the turnover of her arms, much faster than everybody else. Her, her strength, her power to weight ratio and her strength is just so great that she can actually rotate faster, but also pull through the water underwater so much stronger. Coaches talk about not slipping. Turn over faster, but don't slip underwater. And here, it's so high, her elbow pitch underwater, which means she's using all of her shoulder and all of her back to actually pull her arm through. Carlin is second. Kapash of Hungary now maybe just in third place ahead of Belmonte. A little bit more of a rolling kick for her now. She's starting to try to pick up the pace even further. Look how far she is in front of this world record. Well, that world record stands at 8.06.68. And when she set that world record, she went 4.03 at the first 400 metres and even split it at 4.03, 4.03. So if she even splits off this, we're looking at <laughs> around about an 8.03. 8.03 high, 8.04. It's going to be incredible. Let's see if she can maintain this. She has had a very big program. And it's not like it takes more for her here because when she races in the US at their trials, she breaks world records as well. Picking it up straight down the centre of the pool. So her focus and her concentration is right there because she's swimming with the lane line directly underneath her. There's no circling that we've seen other swimmers do. Inside world record still at the 500 metres. Ledecky without peer among freestylers in the world now or ever before. This is the Olympic final and there's still 300 metres to go and yet she leads by 10. She's got a little bit of a trend happening with her split times. So this lap when she comes down this end to the 50 metre start end, She's just slightly faster. She's faster on this 50 by about 0.3 to 0.4 of a second. So I'm not sure why, whether or not her family's on that side and they're waving at her and she can see it, but she's certainly faster on the lap that we've just seen compared to this lap. Maybe us as the media need to wave at her because this is <laughs> our side. But still, she moves in now. She's coming up to the turn to the 600 metres still nice and balanced doesn't move from side to side with her body it's just like a plank and the arms and legs are doing their work well the race is between she and the clock and the rest of them are racing for second and third Kapash has moved into second place Carlin is in third Belmonte has dropped away from those two ever so slightly back to the leader so focused and concentrate 
She's got a little bit more white water happening in the feet as well, so she's not rolling with those feet. I actually am thinking that on this return lap, she goes into that two-beat kick, but there was definitely more action in her feet on the lap going to the 50 metres, and it has been consistently faster. No, she knows. She knows she's getting towards the last 100 metres, so she's really lifting it up. She's going into this freestyle 100-metre sprinter's kick. The rating's increased. It's a short, sharp turn of the head to get the breath in. A little over 100 to go for the world record holder, defending Olympic champion. We looked at those feet barely moving and the two-beat kick early on. Now there's plenty of splash there as she staves off the world record line. And she'd well and truly beaten off the opposition. It's her against the clock. Kapash is still in second. Jazz Carlin's got a fantastic battle for this silver medal. And the world record, Katie Ledecky is racing against herself. That world record line she owns. And she did come home very well when she said it, but I think she may have its mark. That was, that was a 30.76 that lap. The crowd urges her on. The rest turn and they won't even be able to see the feet of Katie Ledecky. She's so far away from them. Ledecky, gold medal. Ledecky, world record. Katie Ledecky of the USA reigns supreme yet again. 8.04.79, a new world record, a new Olympic record. The battle for second is won by Carlin, silver medal for Great Britain, and bronze for Kapash of Hungary. And then closely followed Ashwood, Belmonte, Smith, Fries, and Kohler. But Katie Ledecky, in a class of her own, she against the clock. That makes it the 200, the 400, and the 800. Not since Debbie Meyer in 1968 has that happened. And so, again, we're seeing history in the pool. And swim the freestyle leg, but she finishes up with four. First race, really, because you know you've got more to come. And now, uh, tears flowing for Katie Ledecky. Until I broke the rules, my life destroyed My life destroyed Until I walk awake, scream my mind, I shout Katie, brilliant off the blocks won't come out first though, and his left is, and his right is Vanderberg, who, as usual, gets away very well. Cordes and two, so Cordes and Vanderberg and Petey, they're the ones at the moment, and Cody Miller in five. And once he hits the water, Adam Petey just flies. The stroke rate is so fast, finger-tipping the world record line at the moment. Let's see where he is at the 50-metre mark. He is below it by eight one-hundredths of a second, 26.61. Good underwater, Vanderberg trying to go with him, though. So Petey, who's already set a world record here, he's stunning. And look now, three quarters of a body length clear, 25 metres to go. He's got this race won already unless something extraordinary happens. And it won't because he is in a class of his own. World record line appears as well. He's right there. A gold medal to the Great Britain team. Since 1988, it is Britain now. And it's Petey, and it's a world record. Finishing in 57.13 seconds. He won so comfortably that Cody Miller in the black hat was delighted to finish in third place. Great Britain, silver to Cameron van der Berg of South Africa and bronze to Cody Miller of the United States. All the hard work's actually paid off now and uh, you know, we're not giving in now, we're going to push it forward for the next year. fastest time in the world, Bronte the second fastest, Alexiak now with that effort in the heats for the semi-finals is the uh, third fastest, so all those in the final have top ten times in the world, some 
Pass from Ryan Manuel. Way out here to Brightsell of the USA in lane eight. Freestyle final for women. When they come to the surface, we'll see the yellow caps, and there are three of them. Shostrom of Sweden and the two Campbells, Kate and Bronte. Bronte in lane two, up towards the top, or over to the right, second from the right. Kate's start was a little bit slower than everybody else. At point eight of a second was the reaction time. But once she hit the water, look at the, the world record line on her waist. A great first 50, 24.77. So the sisters are doing it at the moment. Kate Campbell, Bronte Campbell. Kate Campbell, C1 in lane four. Bronte in lane two. In between them is Manuel of the USA. She's the threat at the moment. Oh, look, there's quite a few lining up now. This is not clear cut at all. And it's going to be Manuel in lane three. Olympic record, Manuel. No, Alexia. We've got. It's a dead heat! Dead heat! Oh my goodness! We have dual Olympic champion Nancy Hogshead and Kerry Steinseifer dead heated and it's happened again in 2016. She's just seen it. <laughs> Schurstrom got into third place. So I've worked it out. I think they tossed a coin for who would get the first medal. And, uh... Can I be your superhero? Clow of South Africa was swimming in lane six. Michael Phelps of the United States in lane five. McClough won this event at London 2012, where he narrowly beat Phelps into second place. Phelps looked powerful in the first 50 metres, even though he touched the wall just behind Laszlo Che. Phelps took control of the race as they approached the halfway point. Leclo turned in third place, more than half a second behind. And Phelps was still leading as they turned for the final time. Leclo in the green hat on the left was keeping his eye on Phelps. But he didn't have the strength to close the gap. Phelps held everybody off and he was number one in the 200 metres butterfly once again. Phelps had reclaimed the title he'd won in Athens in 2004 and in Beijing in 2008. This time Leclo finished outside the medal positions. Another gold medal for Michael Phelps of the United States. The silver medal went to Masato Sakai of Japan and the bronze to Tamas Kenderisi of Hungary. Five, 21 gold medals. Pereira. Dan Wallace. Plus he's up and down. He had a poor Olympic. Chanting Pereira's name, his Christian name. He's been to six world championships, Pereira, four Olympic. got him pumped he's up and he's alongside Phelps so Pereira third from your right up towards the top of the screen Phelps alongside of him and Lofty too and Hagino they're all in a line Pereira just edging slightly in front at this early stage into the butterfly they're going to go into the backstroke now does he take the honors the crowd will go crazy they do 24-7-4 Phelps is lurking though 0.17 behind, Phelps' underwaters are so good in this tournament. I am, don't write off Ryan Lochte. He's a, a, a past champion, the 200 backstroke. He's going to try and go with Phelps here. And Hagino as well. They've all got good breaststroke form, but there's three out there now. Pereira, Phelps and Lochte. Phelps may be in front, just. World record pace. 
This is sensational. Now, how does Pereira go in the breaststroke? He was found a little bit wanting in the semis, but he's still there now. Phelps is underwater was pretty impressive in the breaststroke. His breaststroke has been working pretty well for him at this Olympic campaign in 2016. But he's got some company. He's not shaking them off as easy as some of the other events. But once he hits the freestyle, his freestyle has really been firing well here in Rio. And amazingly, he is right on the world record line. Fujimori in lane one moved up to fourth. But it's Phelps, Pereira, Lochte, Brazil looking for a medal. The crowd deafening here. The, the mighty Michael Phelps. The champion is leading. He's had a very big campaign. Pereira is throwing everything at him, but Phelps is increasing the lead, increasing the stroke rate. There has never been a better swimmer. The most decorated swimmer is miles ahead. Michael Phelps. Extraordinary yet again. 1.95 seconds was the margin in victory. Four times he wins the 200 metres individual medley, the first swimmer. No one has achieved. No one's got close to achieving what he has. Remember, he thought three was enough. No, I'm finished. can't help but be affected by lots of sympathetic shushes in the audience they go through their personal rituals The final of the 50 freestyle. The noise is deafening. Crowd gets out in lane two. Tandy of South Africa. They come with 10 to go. Manadu. Manadu and Irvin. Manadu and Irvin. 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 16 years on. He wins the gold again. 16 years later. He wins the gold again. What a story. Anthony Irvin takes it in a 21-4-0. The margin was one one hundredth of a second. Heartbreaking for Florent Manadou. He gets the silver. It's not what he wanted. He wanted the gold and he missed it by a hundredth of a second. He's been a leader on this US team. He lost his way for a little bit. Swimming helped him find himself. Part of the podium here not here <laughs> he returned to the u.s national team not the tallest of the medalists either so for those of you out there oh, hey. it's the first time of today Well, when we look at this, um, South Africa's won a silver medal, that's it. Hungary haven't won a medal. Singapore, no. China, no. Uh, Russia with that one gold from Pankratov back in 1996. Uh, the US... <laughs> Schooling's reaction time in the semi-finals was the best by far of everyone and he starts well again. He's in lane four. Next to him is Leclerc and already Schooling has gone out. Phelps 
out there in lane two that schooling's looking good and right on that world record time. Phelps doesn't have the same kind of first 50 speed as schooling, but what we do know is that he'll come off this wall and his underwater will be impressive. It's just how much has the toll of racing taken on his body and whether or not he can mow down a man that's 10 years younger than him. That is still schooling. He's transferred the form that he showed in the heats into the semi-finals and into the final and he's a body length clear almost. Can he hold on? We were hoping to see history in the pool but we are history because Singapore has won an Olympic gold medal and an Olympic record time. Joseph schooling simply sensational. Equal second equal second for Phelps Chat, triple way second. <laughs> Michael Phelps, Chad Laclo and Laszlo Chair have all got a silver medal. <laughs> well, that's unique in itself. But this 21-year-old Singaporean, Joseph Schooling, what a superstar. He trains in the US out of the University of Texas in Austin. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> yeah. South Africa, Laclo with three silvers. And the US move up with uh, their sixth. Is Singapore. And uh, their new sporting hero, Joseph. To get involved with swimming, but also you know, if, you, if swimming's not your thing, some other sport. No, but, but even generally, just to ins inspire Singaporeans to... You are the strength, you're all I need, need, need. Oh, gonna give it a shot, only one of me To shield you all from the enemy You're super... And you know what? None of them want to be in the team Yes. Yeah, okay, that just we'll see. finished the sentence. Who got lost? Hey, Ryan Murphy is the backstroke champion, winning both the 100 and 200 here at the Olympic Games, and he's the lead out swimmer for the USA, and he's in lane five. But in lane four, it's Walker Heaven of great britain who has a very good start as well but really the usa looking good and ryan murphy should take them through to the wall first he had a fantastic start china in lane number two have gone out as well they're point four of a second behind cue the roar of the crowd because brazil is in third point five eight behind the leader brazil are in lane one to the left of your screen guido just losing ground a wee bit now, but losing no ground is Ryan Murphy. Such a big responsibility for Ryan Murphy because he needs to give Cody Miller as big a lead as possible because Britain are handing over to Adam Petty. Petty. Yes. Then Russia, then Australia, and I think uh, Great Britain might have been fourth at the turn. So it's a long catch up for Petty. That the was a very fast time in the 100 backstroke 5185 i have to go back to my 100 backstroke notes i apologize but i think he's just broken the world record in the 100 backstroke there I'll we come go back to you murphy murphy has taken them through to a great lead cody miller touches now the first half of his discipline you've got the he thumbs broke up the world record in the 100 meters backstroke so well done to murphy wow Petey's making ground Petey in the red cap there for great britain the world record holder, closing with every stroke. What a superb swim from Petey. He's come up, gone alongside, now gone past. Cody Miller, what, this is an exhausting race, stunning swim. Great Britain have the lead now through Petey, but Phelps is in the water for the USA against James Guy. 56.59 for the 100 metres breaststroke split by Petey. He has not only done the fastest 100 breaststroke split, he's done it by a second. That oh. was incredible. Oh. And Guy, who's only, we've only seen really a butterfly here at the Games, 
is ups alongside Phelps. Phelps had a big look underwater at him. He didn't have a great touch on the wall, Phelps. James Guy, who's better known as a freestyler, as you said, is now racing the greatest swimmer of all time, Michael Phelps. And he's holding form. This is going to come down to the USA's champion swimmer, Nathan Adrian, and Duncan Scott. The USA is slightly in front, and that should be enough for them. Nathan Adrian hits the water. So, even off that change over the dive, Nathan Adrian gets a lead over Duncan Scott. Great Britain in second. I'm not sure if there's going to be any challenges on first and second place, but the race is certainly on for the bronze medal. Certainly. China. China out there in lane two. Let's see who turns. China in third place. Great Britain. And here's more challenges coming up. Olympic champion for the 100 freestyle in the water for Australia, Kyle Chalmers. His second 50 is fantastic. And he may be trying to take some ground off Great Britain. The USA have got it. Nathan Adrian will bring them home. Great Britain's Duncan Scott will take the silver. And will the Australians get up and take the bronze? They do. Olympic record. Michael Phelps and his team have maintained this extraordinary record of never having lost the was enormous here and only once did he slip up when he finished with a silver the man has finished the greatest Olympian it means a lot being part of this relay team as the last time it happens well, we're not sure what might happen here. You're a superhero.